All right, everybody, we're back again, and this time I'm going without the mask. You probably could hear me a lot better. Um, I've got the milk chocolate here, and um, the dark chocolate, when I had uh, worked with that a few minutes ago, it, the temper was right on with just that partial melt, and it set up really fast, so I couldn't wait for you, and I had to go ahead and cut them. So I just found a cutter that fit those cups, the chocolate cups that you have perfectly. And uh, so now I've got the milk chocolate here and I figured I'd seed it this time. I'll do the seeding method. And um, again, use your thermometer. I am just gonna use my uh, years of experience. So when you melt this, this chocolate you melt to 113, 115. Um, it's a lower temperature than the dark chocolate. So everything is, is blend in there, it's all melted. So I'm gonna go back and check it. And um, I'm gonna shut my water off here. I shouldn't need that again, so I'm gonna set it aside. And I, I wanna be careful, I don't wanna go on the middle of the stove, but I'm gonna use it just to raise this up. And I'm gonna throw in some of these as my seeds now. And as they melt, you'll get the, the beta crystals that you want. So we wanna crystallize this, and at the same time, get that temperature down into the working range. And on this particular one, I'm gonna shoot for about 86 degrees. Um, it should feel cool to the touch. So they're, they're, this is really nice, this chocolate with the big, they call them calais. These are really good size, so it works great for seeding. If you had to remove them, if it got cool enough where they don't continue to melt, you wanna take those pieces out, you can. And then I could warm it up slightly over my hot water. So there's still a little bit in there. It hasn't fully melted. We're just gonna keep an eye on them. And if they stop melting, then you know you're down in that range. And this is a very simple version. You know, the, uh, you could do tabling if you have a nice uh, marble slab and you wanna put half of your chocolate on there and, and mix it around with uh, like a, you know, one of those things you use for drywall or um, you can use a bench scraper. But if you're doing it on your nice uh, marble or, or granite at home, if it's got any bad edges on that scraper, you'll damage it. So you wanna be very, very careful. Uh, the ones that we have here behind me, we bought those for doing that exact thing, so we don't, we're not very concerned about that. Okay, so it's getting pretty cool. There's still uh, a couple little chunks in there, so I'm going to just check the temperature. And I'm, I'm probably right around 95 degrees there, so it's not quite cool enough. I'm going to just toss in two of them. And if they don't fully melt, I'll take them out. So I've got those two in there, we're just going to continue to stir. Um, I'm away from the heat, it's, it's perfectly cool over here on the side. And because we're just going to simply put it on there, I don't need to warm this up when I, once I get it to that point where I want it to be. If you're going to fill molds, you'd want to warm it up to, you know, that maybe 86 to 88 degrees for this particular milk chocolate. That way it's more fluid, otherwise if it's too cool, you would end up getting uh, really thick shells. So, uh, but not, not an issue for this. Because we've got those pre-made chocolate cups, it, uh, it, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna spread it on there thin, cut out our circles, and then put them on top of those cups. So, I, they're melting, um, but very slowly. So we're getting close to the temperature where we wanna be. going to feel it again. Yeah, we're down there at maybe around 88, 89. So we've got to come down a little bit more. And as it's starting to set on the bowl, you want to work that right in because those will be your uh, beta crystals that we're trying to, um, we're trying to make those grow. So I still have those pieces in there and they're about half the size they were when I put them in. So because they're still melting, I know it's just slightly warm. Check it. Now it's getting down there. It 
should feel cool to your touch. You figure you're 98 degrees, then uh, if you want to get it down to 90, it should actually feel cool. And right now it's um, room temperature, um, not, not quite cool yet. And one thing we could do is uh, we could do a test. I'll set it right there. Let me just uh, take my spatula and to test if it's ready, it should set up within five minutes with no streaks. So we want to give it a good stir here. And then I'll just go ahead and get a little bit on there. And then I'll just set this right here and uh, hopefully you can see that. I'll pull it back a little bit. I'll just put it right up on top of here. I just want to make sure that it's cool where I put it. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep stirring this. And I still have those pieces of seed in there that will help crystallize this. take another check on the temperature it is quite cool now so while that's uh, setting I'm gonna go ahead because I'm feeling pretty confident about this temperature I'm gonna go ahead and and spread this on there just a moment see it okay up here. I'll move it forward. It hasn't started to set yet. I mean, you can see it's thickened quite a bit. And I still have a couple little bits of chocolate in there. And they um, they should be just fine. So this is just starting to set right there. So it was slightly warm at the time. I wanted to set a little bit quicker than that. So if you're concerned, just toss one more in. We could work around that one. Right now I just want to get that and move that around and, and get those uh, crystals that are at a, the right temperature because whenever you buy chocolate, it's already tempered. So we've got the crystals in there that we need. They also sell some uh, other product. They sell uh, beta crystals. They sell them that looks just like cocoa butter. And you can buy a bag of it. It's very expensive, but you melt your chocolate down and you uh, cool it down a little bit and then throw, a, you know, throw a, about 10% of that, those crystals in there. Or just let it sit. And then at the end, you'll stir it and you'll have uh, perfectly crystallized chocolate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and spread this chocolate, this milk chocolate on top of my um, acetate. And you'll find you'll have two pieces of, of uh, you know, transfer sheet. So the acetate with the design on it. And um, if you can see me just fine, I'm going to go ahead and remember I have that one big... Uh, piece of chocolate in there that I had just added. Just going to push that to the back and add my chocolate on here now. Okay, so of course I went right in and that piece of chocolate slid down and it was right in that spot that I took. Put that back in. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spread this now. And you should... Uh, be able to see that sill pad. I went and, and took that sill pad and I uh, glued it down with a little bit of pan spray, a little bit of uh, you know grease, but you could put a dot of butter on if you want. Um, but oil's a little better in case that butter sets up on you. Okay, so we're done there. We're gonna bang it. Okay, as you can see, the temper was really good on the dark ones because that one uh, jumped out. It was not time for that. but. Put it right there, it's got a beautiful shine on it. So we're gonna let this start to set. And it's gotta to set to where it is 
it's like thick, it's, it's set, but it is not um, hard where it'll crack. You have to catch it right in that, that exact time. There's a really short uh, window of time, so be ready. I have my cutter right here. I can see that it's setting on the outside, so that's a good sign. Normally, we put these in the refrigerator and we chill them uh, before we unmold them because they unmold a, a lot shinier, but uh, not the case with these. These came out beautiful. The shine looks great. So I can see it setting up, so we know we have a good temper. It was only a couple of minutes since we put that on. So now we gotta wait till it's not sticky, and then we'll, we'll cut those out, and then we're gonna put them on our chocolate cups, and that's it. So a couple more minutes here. While we're waiting on that, we might as well go ahead and I'll turn this over. Um, I'm just gonna turn it over right here on the table, because you, you can see the shine on there. It's that pan spray that I put on. So do set yours up in the refrigerator. Give it at least five minutes in the refrigerator because uh, you know I got lucky that they, when they separated, that they separated nice and, and shiny like that. But uh, the refrigerator really, really helps with that. And you can see, I don't usually waste these either. If I'm decorating something, sometimes I'll just break some pieces up and just put a little abstract piece on there. So uh, please save those for a, a dessert plating. Now this is ready to go, so I want to cut these. So we're just going to go in, press firmly, and give it a little bit of a twist. 